What would happen if Kale McCarr and Nicholas Lidstrom played together? What's going on guys, I'm Leifer and today I have dropped Kale McCarr into the 1999-2000 season to play alongside Nick Lidstrom and a very deep Detroit Red Wings roster. We are going to simulate McCarr playing alongside Nick Lidstrom from the 1999-2000 season thanks to Snipe and Score's custom rosters all the way until the 2011-2012 season when Nicholas Lidstrom retired IRL or whenever he decides to retire within this simulation. We are going to see how many Stanley Cup championships the two can win together in the span of 11 seasons. We are also going to keep track of how many individual trophies the two can win for themselves within this simulation. With that being said, it is time to start the 1999-2000 season where Kale McCarr has been dropped in with Nicholas Lidstrom. In the first year together, the Red Wings will finish sixth in the entire league. McCarr and Lidstrom had absolutely no problems finding chemistry with each other on the top pair of this Detroit Red Wings team. Nick Lidstrom will finish his year with a .71 points per game, notching 14 goals and 59 points in 82 games. Kale McCarr will finish his first season with a 1.1 points per game, finishing with 12 goals, 79 assists, and 91 points. This kind of breakout season gave McCarr an easy path to find his first Norris Trophy paired alongside Nick Lidstrom. So that makes Kale McCarr up 1-0 in the Individual Trophy Award category. Now it's time for the pair's first playoff appearances together. And we start off with Round 1 where the duo and the Wings take on Pavel Bure and the Florida Panthers. The two teams will play a tight first round with the Red Wings forcing a Game 7 where Nick Lidstrom would notch two goals and win a demanding Game 7 6-1. Pretty clutch from Nick Lidstrom there. Lidstrom and the Red Wings would now go on to take on the Montreal Canadiens in round two, with the Wings looking to once again force a game seven at home. This one ended in overtime with the Red Wings firing a new NHL record of 87 shots in a single game. Regardless of that record, Montreal would go on to beat the Red Wings in overtime 2-1. McCarr finished his first playoffs with a point per game and the Ducks would later go on to win the cup and Paul Correa took home the Conn Smythe trophy. So year one ended pretty well for Kel McCarr winning a Norris for Lidstrom and the Red Wings. Not too great in the playoffs getting bounced in the second round but year two the 2000 2001 season the duo were looking for some more of that same success in the regular season as they had together in year one the team would finish just two points shy of winning the president's trophy this year with the maple leafs coming out on top a point ahead listroom would have a similar year finishing with 52 points in 82 games and kale mccarr would finish just under a point per game with 75 points in 82 games a little bit of a drop off for kale mccarr after that first year neither players would go on to win any regular season trophies with the norris trophy going to brian leach listroom in the wings looked to start a deep run in year two taking on the very talented ottawa senators team the wings start the series off dropping both games on home ice and then taking one on the road in ottawa to show some life the Sens would then go on to take games four and five therefore knocking kale mccarr and the red wings out earlier than expected the blues go on to hoist lord stanley taking the Sens down in four games and gary roberts takes home the con Smythe. and the red wings have yet to win a cup with mccarr and lidstrom as their top two defensemen. Moving into the 2001-2002 season, also known as year three, the Red Wings got a very deeper team, bringing in Dominic Hasek, Brett Hall, Frederick Olsson, and rookie Pavel Datsuk making his debut. McCarr would match last year's total in points with 75. They call him Mr. Consistent for a reason. And Nick Lidstrom would finish with a personal best 16 goals and 66 points. Neither players would bring home any individual hardware though, with the Norris once again being awarded to Brian Leach for the second straight year. The Season 3 playoffs would have the Red Wings beating the Boston Bruins in 5 games in their Round 1 matchup. The Red Wings would then move on to Round 2, taking on the Montreal Canadiens. The last time the two teams met, the Canadiens knocked out the Larianov-led Red Wings in Round 2 after the Red Wings broke the record for the most shots in an NHL game. This time the Wings would get the better half of the Canadians, defeating them in six games. Moving them on to the Eastern Conference Final for the first time, McCarr and the Wings take on the New York Rangers. This series would be a cakewalk for the Red Wings with a 4-0 series sweep. For the first time in their careers, McCarr, Lidstrom, and the Wings would be heading to the Stanley Cup Finals where they find themselves playing Timu Solani and the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim. 
the Wings would find themselves dropping game one, four to one, but then go on to win the next four games, making them the 2001-2002 Stanley Cup champions. McCarr and Lindstrom both get to lift up the cup for the first time together, and both are hoping that there are more to come. Only took three years for the duo to find a Stanley Cup in their career, they work fast. The Conn Smythe going to Sergei Fedorov, who had an unreal playoffs, even though Kel McCarr finished the playoffs with a 1.05 points per game. Moving on to year four, the 0203 season, the Red Wings are looking for a repeat. After losing Hashik, the Wings bring in Curtis Joseph, also known as Cujo. The defending cup champs finish in second, falling shy of the President's Trophy as the Rangers went on to win it with a 59 win a season, an absolutely insane season from the Rangers. Nick Listrom would go on to have his numbers drop a little bit, finishing with 48 points, his lowest in the four years played. Kill McCart would go on finishing with 73 assists and 81 points. Both would once again not finish with any personal hardware, as for the third straight year, Brian Leach takes home the Norris Trophy. What a tear Brian Leach has been on these last three years. And now we jump into round one of the playoffs against the Toronto Maple Leafs, and it did not go well for your Detroit Red Wings as they lost in seven games to the Toronto Maple Leafs. The defending cup champs bounced in the first round in year four. Year five, the 0304 season would have the Red Wings bringing back Dominic Hasek. They also had Ray Whitney and Henrik Zetterberg feeling much more comfortable in his second year in the NHL. Listrom would go on to finish the year tying a personal best with 16 goals and Kale McCarr would finish with 83 points in 82 games. This kind of year finally knocked down Brian Leach's reign of winning the Norris for three straight years, and Kale McCarr goes on to win his second Norris trophy. He now leads 2-0 in the personal trophy awards with having two Norris trophies to Listrom's none. Moving into the playoffs, after a first round exit last year, the Red Wings were determined to have a much better run this time around. They defeated the Bury-led Panthers in seven games. They went up to face the Tampa Bay Lightning for the first time, where Dominic Hasek played a perfect 120 minutes of hockey in games three and four, notching back-to-back -back shutouts. McCarr and the Red Wings went on to beat the Lightning in seven games. For the third time in five years, the Red Wings are back up against the Montreal Canadiens in the Eastern Conference Final. The second time Lidstrom, McCarr, and the Red Wings make it that far. Hasha continued with a stellar play, notching his third shutout of the playoffs with a Game 4, 4-0 four victory. The Wings will later go on to beat the Habs in seven games. McCarr up until this point is one behind Whitney of the most points in the playoffs thus far. Really gunning for that consummate title if the Red Wings were to win the Cup this year. Off to the Stanley Cup Finals for the second time in three years, the Red Wings find themselves up against Joe Sackick, Peter Forsberg, and the dominant Colorado Avalanche. They had an amazing year, better than Detroit. With McCarr and the Red Wings down 3-2 in the Finals, the Wings win Game 6, 6-3, and go on to forcing a Game 7. Their third Game 7 of this playoffs. They have played plenty of hockey this playoff run. Game 7 has the Avs scoring one very late to make it 5-4 and try to mount a comeback. But Lidstrom and the Red Wings hold on and go on to win their second cup in three years. McCarr and Lidstrom once again hoisting the cup. Ray Whitney just beating out Kel McCarr to the Conn Smythe, leaving McCarr still looking to win his first playoff MVP. He ended up finishing this playoffs with 26 assists, 32 points in 27 games. Some pretty impressive stuff from Kale McCarr. Hopefully he finds an MVP trophy, a playoff MVP trophy in the near future. We move quickly over to the 0506 season and the Red Wings wanting to once again try to repeat what they did the year prior. This time around, the Red Wings finished in seventh place in the entire league, the lowest this team has placed since year one. Listrom would finish the 0506 season with a career high of 19 goals and 58 points. That man loves his goals. Kale McCarr would finish with a career high totals in goals with 14, a career high in assists with 80, and a career high in points with 94. He would go on to win his second straight Norris Trophy, adding to the two he already has. So if we're looking at the individual award score, it's Kale McCarr 3, Nick Lidstrom none. And a little side note, Pavel Datsuk went on to win his first Selkie Trophy. Shifting to the playoffs now, this would be by far the worst in their career for both McCarr and Lidstrom. Lidstrom finishing with zeros across the board, and McCarr finishing with one point in their first round exit to the Pittsburgh Penguins in four games. An embarrassment for the two. Shifting to the 06-07 season, the year seven, the Troy Red Wings would add some new personnel changes for McCarr and Lidstrom and the Red Wings, bringing in the likes of Todd Bertuzzi and Robert Lang. The Wings would go on to win 45 games that season and continue their playoff streak of seven years in a row. Lidstrom would go on to finishing this year with a .76 points per game, and Kale McCarr takes home his fourth Norris Trophy in seven years and goes on 
to win the Norris in three consecutive years. Looking at the individual trophy awards now, four individual awards for Kel McCarr, two Nick Listrom's none. Shifting to round one of the playoffs in the 0607 season, it once again did not go very well for Kel McCarr and the Red Wings. They get bounced once again in the first round, only this time in seven against the Buffalo Sabres. So, so far, we're seven years in, out of the two, Kale McCarr looks like the stronger player, winning more individual awards. They both won two cups together so far, but the individual awards, Kale McCarr is taking for a sweep. There are four years left, four said years left until Nick Lidstrom retires, which he did in, uh, in real life. He would have to win the Norris Trophy in all four years to try to tie Kale McCarr. I think it's safe to say Kale McCarr has won the individual trophies. With that being said, we move on to the 0708 season, and this is one of the worst years for the pairing in the Detroit Red Wings. The seven year stretch of making the playoffs every year ends as the Wings finish with a record of 39, 31, and 12. Listrom finished the year with 19 goals and 49 points, while Kelmakar had another great season with 69 assists and 80 points. Neither players finished with individual awards this season as McCarr's three year Norris streak ends as Carolina Cedor wins it. And at the end of the season, believe it or not, Nicholas Listrom decided to retire from the NHL three years earlier than he did in real life. So we have to conclude the simulation there as he retired in the 07-08 season instead of the 2011-2012 season. After all was said and done in these eight years, the Detroit Red Wings went on to win two cups in eight years, and the GOAT status between the two defensemen has to go to Kale McCarr after winning four Norris trophies and three of those wins coming in three straight seasons, which is something very hard to do in the National Hockey League. So there you have it. Kale McCarr, potentially the better defenseman than Nick Lidstrom, that's what the simulation shows.